Here you can see the speed at which I'm climbing this wall. But did you know I can actually speed up how fast I climb this wall by equipping claws? You need to actually have the claws selected in order to gain the speed bonus. If you're ever trying to climb something tall like this wall at the stepstones, look for two walls at an angle to each other. You can repeatedly super jump between these walls, allowing you to climb quickly and not have to worry about your stamina. The delay between your super jumps will regenerate enough stamina to let you super jump again. However, each super jump that will cause you to hit zero stamina will make you lose a slight amount of HP. Even if you're running a non-weapon based build, as you can see I'm a mage here, you can still equip weapons, you just can't use the weapon's abilities. You can still make use of certain weapons like the shield to get better blocking power. While non-weapon based builds will deal reduced damage when using weapons, you can still actually use guns like the musket to deal reasonable damage. You can also equip the claws to make use of the previously mentioned speed bonus when climbing with claws selected. We all remember that one quest in the story where you're stuck inside the mines. But did you know you can actually go back inside the mines? It's located inside King Calvis' castle. Just take the first left and follow the hallway until you see this entrance with this sign above it. Drop down the hole and you will see that you are in the mines. This is a great spot to quickly run to and hide in if you are ever being chased by people you don't want to PvP, as no one ever checks the mines. You can actually clear your fame or bounty for free. If you have fame, just go to the marine receptionist, join the Grand Navy, and then immediately leave. If you have bounty, go to the Assassin Syndicate's receptionist, join the Assassin's Syndicate, and then immediately leave. Joining and leaving the Grand Navy or Assassin's Syndicate both will clear your fame or bounty for free. If you have a high amount of attack speed, certain weapon abilities will actually begin to carry the momentum of the attack speed. A great example of this is the Dagger E. I am running a high attack speed build, as well as imbuing Thermo Fist into the Poison Tooth Dagger. I need to get into combat to use the Poison Tooth Dagger E. Look how quickly I can scale the stepstones. Here I'm at Sandful Isle with my campfire somehow placed inside this pool of water. Anyways, as long as you have less than 1000 galleons, you can safely reset without losing any. As you can see, I have 999 galleons, 
and I can safely reset and I won't lose any. Again, since I have less than 1000 galleons, I can reset and I won't lose any. Now that I have 1000 galleons, I will actually lose galleons if I reset. I lost 150 galleons. When I pick up the galleons, I only get 120 back, meaning I lost 30 galleons. You probably see these rock mounds all the time. Make sure you destroy them as they drop rock salt and can also drop precious gems. The gems are obviously much rarer to get than the rock salt. If you spam your magic or fighting style abilities a lot, one thing that can be very annoying is how the name of the ability stacks above your character's head. I personally hate how I can't turn this off. It blocks a lot of my screen with how many appear stacked above my head sometimes. You can actually greatly minimize how many of these ability names get stacked above your head by renaming all of your abilities to the same name. Here I am renaming both my light and shadow magic abilities to cry. Now I can spam all my abilities on both my magics and at most, only one spell name will appear above my head. This is much better than there being 3-4 to four ability names stacked above my head, disrupting my view. Can you spot where the Grand Navy Marine is? Well they were actually inside the tree. You can climb up trees and stand on top of them. You'll be inside the leaves of the tree and no one will be able to see you. That is until someone breaks the tree and you just appear right in front of them. 